All right, April 3rd, launch day for the iPad. I've already picked mine up. And uh, today's gonna be showing you how to use your iPad as a 3G iPad, being as that's not actually out until the end of April. Uh, this is a workaround if you have an Android phone uh, to use your iPad 3G now. And it's free, uh, as long as you have a rooted phone, that's really all you need. Uh, so we're going to start demonstration, shouldn't take too long, with the phone. This is my Motorola Droid. Um, if you have a rooted Droid, you just simply use the Wi-Fi Tether for root users application. It's free. Click in the middle to start the tethering, and this basically turns your Droid into a Wi-Fi hotspot. Alright, there we go. The connection is active, so my droid is broadcasting Wi-Fi now. We're going to set that aside. Come over here to the iPad. Go into Settings. And right now it's still set up with my actual home Wi-Fi network, so we'll wait for the droid Wi-Fi to pop up. And then we'll go ahead and configure that. Oops, let's let it refresh here. There it is. Mike's Droid Wi-Fi. And I'll just enter in my web key here. Alright. So, ask me to enter in my web key. I've done that. We'll hit draw or join. And now it will sync up. Wait for it to finish connecting here. Alright, there we go. It obtained an IP address from the droid. So we can go ahead and exit out of this. And from here we'll uh, test this out. We'll launch Safari. Here I am on the droid forums. So let's just uh, let's just go back to the forums. And there we have it. iPad working off of Verizon's 3G network tethered through my droid. There you go.